So here we are, Siwi, Sui, Sui Coco, Sui Coco. And this is basically the view. You've got one, two, three, four, five, self contained. Not sure. Um, then we've got the actual room itself, which is fairly large. Separate bathroom with oh, toilet does not um, door does not like the toilet and uh, gonna have to try out the uh, slippery floor. There's definitely a um, shower storage area. be a king, king size bed and we have the backside view fridge and TV So that's the uh, quick overview. Not too bad. This is uh, obviously your your Kev uh, here, and um, his family own this. So we thought we'd come and uh, obviously miss him. He's on his way back to the UK. So we thought we'd come anyway and try it out. There's obviously. None of them have anything other than steps. There's a couple of steps. Um, but apart from that, not too bad. Right, so let's see, look around. Now I've got to decide on what we're going to be doing. Hello and welcome. Just a quick advert for my new affiliate link this is for Agoda so if you're interested in any sort of holiday uh, aspect that's hotels transport air airfares uh, itineraries and travel guides apartments e-sims whatever if you're interested in any aspect of travel then please use the link down below to go over to agoda.com book your item through them and through the link and hopefully I will get a small commission from that so help me out help the channel grow and fund the channel by using the link so thank you for that and I look forward to hearing from you how you managed to get a, a bargain okay it's about uh, 20 minutes later uh, we've cooled off a bit and uh, managed to get hold of Andy so just sending my um, map location finally I didn't do it the first time it just crashed hopefully now I think we're in the north that's him where we are where we go to him then I think he's down in the uh, south West area, if I remember rightly, because it wasn't too far from the middle. One thing I will say, Kev, you need to put your prices up. That was like 400 roughly for one night. I mean, you could pay that three times that in a uh, hotel, uh, Patio Hotel, I and mean, that was 1200 there. Even the ones in Konkin, the one at 500 upwards, from up to a thousand plus. So yeah, I think it's pretty cheap. So that's pretty good, pretty good price, obviously. Uh, they offer um, B 
B&B, so you can you can book it. It's safe. I think it said it was about 63 baht. Okay, so we've got back to the uh, place. Noticed a few things, so we put the TV on. Got no TV channels. And uh, we've done a, a reboot, whatever. Um, you've got a device like an Android box. And it says that there are no channels whatsoever. Um, tried it all, tried all the... Uh, combinations including restart <laughs> nope anyway so there's no instructions anywhere except if there's a lightning storm you need to unplug the mains which is very good advice uh, however it doesn't help watching TV so I'm running TV also you can see in the background there the duvet cover I don't know how big they think people are, but we're tiny. That two they cover is actually probably just big enough for one person, let alone two, especially on a king size bed. So somebody tonight, it's going to be me probably, it's going to be a bit cold. Now I haven't tried the pillows yet, so I don't know what they're like. But Kev, you could put um, easily change one of these uh, units and just make the front a little bit more accessible. All you need to do is just a tiny, tiny, little tiny bit of work uh, just to have a little ramp that would make it a lot easier. And then obviously inside everything is accessible anyway. Um, then about the shower, you can always roll in there. It's not too bad. Um, of course, if you've got a wheelchair, then that wooden thing around the outside there would be a problem because you wouldn't be able to get close enough to the bed. Uh, but for me, I can sure I'm going to bang my my legs on that when I get in and out of bed. But hey, yeah, we've had that before with one of the places we say that. Um, what else can I have a moan about? Uh, yeah, it's really, really good price for the, for the, what it is, you know, um, but it could be just a little fraction better. Um, certainly English uh, instructions would help. I don't know the market area. Maybe you don't get any English people. Maybe it's all Thai. Uh, maybe they, they're happy with with Thai language everywhere, but it would be nice to know. So it's uh, uh, welcome to Sri Kogo village, uh, line number, everything is in Thai. There's nothing there in red, in red that's writing in Thai. So I can't read any of it. Obviously no, no pets allowed, no smoking. But, uh, apart from that, very very happy and of course well, you know it's pretty much run for the path as they say um, you pay your money you get your choice and I'm quite happy with the price good location and just, not just because it's cab I would say the same thing for any place in fact you'll see the video I do for um the Bangkok Hotel. I mean, that was just <laughs> crazy. You know, they make all that effort and then just basically let down by a little thing. So, I might have another play with that, but it looks like we haven't got any TV tonight. So, I'll have to use my internet and um, play on YouTube. Right, very good evening. Uh, we're going to be going to see Andy, Andy number five, and Nud. Tomorrow is in May. Let's go to this uh, beef noodle beef restaurant. Apparently, they serve really good beef there. Dally. So. So what? Um, what do you think? 
Hello, good morning. Oh, hello, good morning. Yes, forgot that. <laughs> okay, yes. So we're in Ubon, right to Thani, and uh, this is the, what do you call it, the, I can never remember, Sui Coco, Sui, Sui Coco Villa. Uh, it's a complex of small, um, self contained uh, apartments, and there's a um, king size bed. It's a bit soft for my liking, but it was okay. The quilt. Now, um, my dear wife had a comment last night. What did you say about the, the blanket last night? You said blanket too small. I think um, you need to say sorry to Kev. Sorry, Kev. She's lying. <laughs> it's not small, really. Not really, if you put it properly. It actually does fit two people. However, it's a bit tight. Uh, there's not enough yeah you know, not enough leeway for um, a bed so she is sorry aren't you darling you're very sorry you said the blanket was too small mm. <laughs> she's not really sorry uh but yeah the blanket was okay in the end it's um just big enough uh it's quite warm as well had to turn the uh, air con down a little bit because it was too cold we'll turn it up uh yeah uh shower is okay uh shower is fine i uh, had a sort of a quick shower there with uh, my bath mat there's a floor the floor is very very slippery as it is in all um hotels it seems they designed that way it'd be good if they just thought about people who can't walk around you know put, put down some um non-slip tiling instead of normal tiling it wouldn't take much and non-slip tiling is available um the town tower is adequate uh, tv we didn't we did not get that working in the end i tried again i tried um i managed to get onto a, a screen that said youtube and uh tv but it went onto youtube and all i got was a load of rubbish it didn't actually show you uh, YouTube channels it said search and I was searching for stuff and I couldn't find anything so I gave up in the end and um, I loaded my laptop and put them um, on my uh, on my Wi-Fi device on the laptop anyway so the plan today it's currently about 10 o'clock uh, we're gonna be going in a moment go heading down towards the Andy uh, Andy and Nud house which is around about half an hour away providing of course we don't get lost anywhere we do have a um, hopefully I've still got a Google map so it's very quiet here very pleasant I can recommend it uh, I mean look at the um, Agoda booking thing I did it was actually a total of 512 for one night so obviously they added on some uh, extras and I didn't get my 10% off for the Agoda either so that's a complaint for Agoda but 512 uh, I think if it was on uh, booking.com it was about 480 odd but I'm trying to avoid using booking.com uh, so yeah it's not, not too bad value for money uh, as I say I think it was my initial reaction yesterday was it's worth a lot more there you go so yeah i think um all over and all kev's place pretty good and that's not because um he's a friend of mine it's not because he's the uh a patreon that's my honest opinion i i actually deliberately paid myself for this room to be able to say whatever i like and I've done that so that's good and it's all been good compared to every other hotel we've ever been in I mean we've had some really atrocious ones I mean, look at the one in in Bangkok for example you know that wasn't brilliant it's like a small little closet uh, yeah really not excellent uh, and um, no room for the scooter this one 
yeah you could probably get the scooter in here well apart from the three steps up into the uh, main building can you go around I think and do um quick just do a quick tour so just a quick look around bathroom and uh, and here look this Kev mate Kev what's this all about why do you have that there no I understand <laughs> and uh, storage area for clothes or whatever that's quite nice that's quite a nice idea got the um like a very big chair to sit in TV that doesn't work at the moment but, um, it's probably not my fault and then double bed or king bed and um, turn these off shall we yep and then if we go outside let's have a little walk outside just to show everybody this is a car parking area and we can go oh you go out um, and point and turn the camera this way you can see there's a uh, an upstairs upstairs area as well uh, and then obviously the smaller ones over there I don't know what they are but that's it that's the that's the whole place 